everybody and welcome back to Pioneer. Uh, today we are in System Administration Resting. Uh, we've done a few missions here and there uh, since the last, uh, last video. So we got a bit more money now. Uh, we've got 364 credits. Emmy's been working hard on doing missions. And today uh, we're going to do a long haul a longish haul mission. So as you can see, uh, the bulletin board is starting to fill up with a bunch of different kinds of missions, but because we don't have a hyperdrive, there's only a small amount we can do. Let's turn time on real quick and find the mission we're going to take. Let's see. All right, so here it is, local freight transport to OPLI PAX. It's only two tons, so it's perfectly, perfectly normal. Uh, we can carry that. We got seven tons free. And we have a little more than a week to do our, uh, our orbit, our traveling. So that's good. Here we are in the map. So one of the things that I figured out quite recently, just today actually, <laughs> is that we can supplement our mission income by taking commodities along with us. So, we're at resting. We're going to PAX. So I want to find something that resting exports, which is this uh, green symbol with the outward arrow, or the uh, pink one, that PAX imports, right? The blue inward arrow, inward arrow is the imports. And unfortunately, well, mining machines are probably the best. But I think mining machines are kind of expensive. Let's take a look. Mining machines, 356. Oh, Credits a ton. That would put us right out of just about all our money. 363. The price has gone up. That's that's bad. We can't we can't buy that because that would leave us with less money than we than we it'd leave us without docking money. That's not good. So what else? Uh, I think consumer goods and farm machinery, yeah. Not great trades, but better than nothing. Let's look at consumer goods, consumer goods. Oh, wow, these are expensive. 212? 212? Okay, and we'll, we'll pick up a farm machinery. 76. 76. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I guess that's good enough. It'll get us some, a little bit more money, I guess. And the more money we get, the faster we can leave this, this system. All right. So we've got our navigational target set to PAX. Let's turn time back on. Undock and go. So we're off. Gear is up. Rotation is off. Cruise is off. Let's get aligned to packs. Nice and easy. Thrust. Oh! Oh! Whoa! That was, oh, Whew. wow, I was lucky. Oh, heart jumped to beat there. So let's get our pro grade markers over to PAX. Oh, that's a bad sign. That was a bad sign. I don't think we're going to do this mission. <laughs> I don't think we're going to survive this mission. Okay. So, 
Prograde marker on Pax. Go. And let's do a bit of maneuvering. Zoom in. Okay, that's okay. There we go. Now, we burn. We don't want to use up too much fuel, though. And... Okay. So, this bar on the left is our fuel. And, uh... The fuel we need to break. The inside bar is the fuel in our ship. Outside bar is breaking fuel. And my thrusters are still going. Okay, that was... That was a, another bad thing. If we had gone, we had sped up time, that would have used up all our fuel. Whew. Wow, oh, bad start. <laughs> this is a terrible start to PAX. Oh boy. <clears throat> Anyways, so we're okay now though. So we gotta coast into PAX for a bit. Go ahead and flip around since don't really need to be pointing at Pax to start. Why am I flipping around the wrong way? Right, so, okay, tail end is at Pax. Pointing towards Pax. And we just wait now. Zoom in. And once the braking meter starts getting up into the green, then we'll do our course corrections. Speaking of which, now let's check out our mission. All right, we still got eight days yet left. That's that's this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, slow down time. Some course correction, and it's time to break. Low power thrusters at 73%, which helps keep us in the green. So PAX, OPLI PAX, is on a bigger planet with an actual atmosphere. And that makes it ooh, fairly hard to, oh, I should say relatively hard to approach. you gotta watch out for the whole temperature and of course gravity whereas the the moons of impression are tiny and some of them some of them are got a fair bit of gravity but in general they're fairly easy to approach and because they're tiny if you end up on the wrong side of it you can just go around it pretty quickly. Pax is not like that. Oh, okay. Slow down, slow down. So let's maneuver a bit. We can see the planet there. That's illuminated by uh, Bernard's star. That's pretty nice. It's a heck of a lot better than approaching something on the dark side. Speed time back up a bit. Yeah, a little slow. Ooh, ooh, okay, now we're going a little bit fast. Let's let's slow down a bit. Pause and take a look at our map. I don't know where Pax is to us. It's on the other side. Ah, oh, that's great. So we'll reach we'll reach formations with no problem. But Pax is on the other side, so I kinda wanna fly oh see this is what I want to do. Go past it, stay a little closer than this, and then we can kinda 
Well, what I'd like to do is break right about here and then break towards the planet and just kind of glide in on a shallow entry path towards Pax. But <laughs> that's what I'd like. Will that happen? Probably not. <laughs> so, uh, let's go back. Let's go back to real time. Ooh. Can't forget to step on the brake. So if I can move this prograde marker just over the horizon... There we go. This should be a nice... A nice path straight to uh, Pax. But, I don't know. I think we're doing relatively okay. We're okay. And we've got we've got some some wiggle room there in the braking distance. I don't want to get too too far up. And with space stations, you can you can really ride the top of the braking gauge, but I don't have that I don't have that uh, that kind of uh, control. I don't have, I'm not <laughs> quite as precise when approaching planets. So, we'll slow down, slow down. I'm honestly a little worried. Maybe keep it in the white, or at least between the white and the green. Probably keep it safe, although that would make my... Uh, entry path kind of steep so, let's maneuver a bit go down oh what was that oh ships ships okay let's bring ourselves down a bit over. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Hold off the gas. So one of the things we got to be careful with on approaching big planets like this is gravity. And I'm trying to keep my my descent shallow enough that gravity's not a huge problem, but look at that. Oh yeah, gravity has caught us. And we're gonna overshoot Pax. Slow down a bit. Um, what can I do here? So, we angle our ship up and then hit the bottom thrusters as well as the main thrusters. We should. We should slow down a fair bit more. Yeah, I think we're gaining. still up pretty high though I'd like to be a fair bit closer to the planet at this point Okay So Oh, well, we're not really 
doing this very well, are we? <sighs> yeah, there goes the overshoot. Where is Pax? There's Pax. Ship warning, maybe? Oh, yeah, and we've overshot. <sighs> yeah, I knew I was going to do that. So, oh, what do we do from here? Okay. Well, let's turn ourselves over. Kind of push ourselves toward the planet. While we thrust in reverse. Yeah, we are way too high up. How much time do we have? Well, we still got about a week. A little more than a week. That's not bad. So it's not going to take us six days to, to travel to the surface of, of formations, hopefully. Oh, that would be bad. Okay, so... Ooh, let's slow down, speed up time so we can slow down a bit faster, right? And then we'll <sighs> re-maneuver for approach. Good either. Okay, let's bring our prograde up. Wow, kind of breaking a bit. Uh, oh dear. Now we don't actually need to break all that much, do we? We do need to bring the prograde up, though. This is why I left some uh, <laughs> some fuel in the tanks. Otherwise, definitely not make this approach. I'm still worried if we're not gonna make the approach though. getting closer to the planet slowly but surely which is fine just wish get these prograde markers going a little bit faster Ooh, only 9% fuel It's okay though, that's okay. Worst case scenario, we just kind of glide and take a couple days and slowly fall on top of OPI LI packs. Best case scenario, right? We kind of uh, come in and break nicely. This is why I'm not fond of, of coming to PAX. But the money is just too good. So we're still slowly closing the gap. OK. 
Okay, you know what? You know what? I think we can do this. I think this is looking kind of good, actually. Okay. Okay. Now, we are on a fairly steep approach. All right, look at this. You know, we're right on top of it. We're gonna go... So, we absolutely, 100%, need to turn around. And because we also have to fight gravity in this approach, we're going to keep the bar out of the green, the braking bar out of the green. We are going to keep it, well, I want, I want to say 80%, 90, 90, 85%, 90%. And hopefully, hopefully, that will prevent us from smacking into the service, surface of uh, formations. Oh, I am not good at planetary approaches. I'm going to practice this a bit more. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm doing it by myself. So, right, I can say that. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit. We can't quite see Pax yet. I don't want to zoom in too much, because that, that obscures the, uh, the horizon. But I guess there's no fixing it now. All right, I think it's just about time to start breaking. probably let it go a bit higher. But um, I'm a little worried. Yeah, I think we picked the right time to start breaking. Look how fast that's going. Look how fast we're descending. And look how slow we're deaccelerating. You know, Starting to get worried. <laughs> I am extremely worried. Okay. So. We'll use the underside of our thrusters, our rear thrusters, to help us slow down a bit, because I think we're going a bit too fast. Even if this puts us a good distance away from PAX, it's going to keep us alive. Because the braking meter keeps going up, despite the fact that I'm I've been sitting on the, the thrusters. For a good while now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're actually slowing down. Braking meter is going down. 
Our descent is slowing. Oh. Oh boy. Now this is also taking a bit longer than I thought it would. <sighs> but, no, well, not very good at this. Ah ha ha. We're up like a hundred kilometers away, aren't we? <laughs> okay. So, we have yet to enter the atmosphere. Still descending far too quickly. I think we're okay. I think we are... Okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. As long as we don't smash into the planet, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, boy. It is burning the fuel. Yeah, no more. Uh, we're going to end up a good 200 kilometers away from from Pax. Uh, well, this was bad. But, we're not dead. Not dead is good. And whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. I suppose. We do need to get towards Pax, though. Okay, here's our second course, correc course correction for the trip. <sighs> Definitely have to practice. This was rough. But we aren't dead. And that is the important thing. I'm not entirely certain of with uh, this planetary approach is uh, whether to use the prograde for the target, navigational target, or prograde for the frame of reference. Right, because 
this shows us moving at a good clip towards uh, PAX. But is our ship moving towards this, or is it moving towards the other one? Oh, oh, oh. And it's about time to step on the brakes. Oops, wrong direction, wrong direction. Because yeah, we're definitely moving towards uh, this target. Very long time to get to you today. <laughs> ah, and we're in the atmosphere. Oh, Pax, you don't know how good it is to see you. I am exhausted. to break though. <laughs> Should probably go ahead and switch over to cruise control. That'll keep it so we don't have to keep uh, jamming on the the underside thrusters to to keep us from falling. I know that's not exactly manual control, but there's there's no way I wanna <laughs> I wanna have to worry about all sorts of different controls while we approach thrusters. So uh, let's get our docking clearance. Docking Bay 4. Alright. Oh boy. Alright, we switch to our bottom camera. And uh, level out. Go zero degrees. Zero degrees. Landing gear down. Let's put down. Ah. We don't want to go down too fast. Right. Four meters a second is probably pretty good. Ah. We're here hard to see. Okay, yeah, we definitely made it in time. Great. And with that mission, we've gone up from being a nobody to being an experience, inexperienced, which is good. That's good. All right. Uh, let's sell this stuff. All right. Go. Boom. Farm machinery. We bought farm machinery for seventy-five dollars. Consumer goods were two hundred and twelve, I think. Yeah, that was pretty good. Mission income plus uh, our commodities. Nice. And gas up. I call it a day. Cause that was exhausting. Whew. All right, so maybe <laughs> we're going to have to practice this a good bit longer before we uh, <laughs> feel comfortable about landing on a planet. But 
We made it. We didn't die. We didn't damage our ship. And we made a good bit of money in the meantime. So, that is a good trip in my book. And with that, we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching, if you made it this long. Uh, we'll see you all later. Goodbye.